Wednesday morning and we are back on a new job. This is a small repair job. What's happened, they've had a canopy from when the house was initially built and over the years that canopy has pushed down the brickwork below and also pushed up the brickwork above. It's caused a few cracks and it's also shoved this brickwork down. Now there isn't a lintel in this brickwork as you can see it doesn't work coarse. If there's a lintel in it the lintel will be there or here but what they used to do back in the day is they used to put brickwork just on top of their door frame. I've not got that in so we're gonna take this brick out, this brick out, we're gonna pistol the back of it, slot a lintel in, take these out and then build them back in. Uh, we've also got some helix bars to put in, nothing major so yeah we're just gonna be cracking on, see how we get on. So I've just taken out all the old headers and you can see that there's no lintel. Now it's really common for old houses built in the 70s and 80s not to have lintels built in over their doors or windows. Now you can see that there's no lintel in because it's a split course. If there was a lintel in, it perhaps would look a bit more like that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take out this brick really carefully just by drilling lots of little holes like that. And then I've already put a pencil line where I want to do a still saw cut. And then I'm going to cut that all the way, 150 mil back on the back side of this brick. Then I'm going to slip this lintel into there and I'm going to do the same there. That way we'll be able to maintain our split course and reuse the old bricks which are there. But it should work really nice. So what we've done right now, if we've just put this lintel on, so you can see we've got 100 mil bearing this side, 150 mil this side. So plenty of bearing that side. Didn't really want to cut out this brick and pistol it. So 100 mil is still plenty. It's still better than no lintel at all. We are putting in our brand new headers. I've had to cut them down to about 115 mil for the simple reason, because I've put this new lintel on, okay? If I have to try and slot that in, it's just not going to fit. And that's because we've got extra bed under the lintel and the width of the lintel itself, which is about five mil. New cuts going in, they slot in really, really nice. So we're going to dob all of these in right now. We're going to build this up and then we're going to rake out some of the existing pointing. OK, you can see it's quite, it's quite worn. And there's a few cracks here. So what we're going to do, we're going to rake all of that out and then repoint everything back in and then job done. It's busy. Yeah, it's hard to film when you're out and your cameraman's gone. Right, so we've pretty much wrapped up building over the lintel over there. Uh, it's gone all right. It's quite a sandy mix, so I can blend it into the existing pointing and brickwork quite well. Right now, what we're going to do is our favourite activity, and that is we're going to rake out a load of joints and do some repointing. So I've got this set to about 15 mil, which should take it back just enough. What I'm doing is I'm repointing one bed joint, two bed joint, probably three bed joints over here, and that will be four bed joints over there because we have that split course I mentioned earlier. So that should hit more brickwork over there, which will be pretty decent. And what I'm also going to be doing is putting in a couple of helix bars. Now, I spoke about these in the past. What they do, they stop further cracking in old brickwork. So you can see here, we've got a couple of hairline cracks, okay? Again, this is because there's no lintel over this window but because they're not so significant what we're going to do to stop any further cracking we we'll put these in we have got to take this back a little bit further than 15 mil which that uh, which that is set at we're going to take it probably 30 to 40 mil deep resin this in one here so that will cover this crack and part of that crack and then we'll put another one slightly higher up again covering this crack again and that crack there just to stop any further cracks so we're going to get some PPE on, mask, earmuffs, what Drew provided from somewhere. And um, yeah, get some raking out done and then we'll do some repointing. So I've just done, a, yeah, I'm going to do the perps as well because I've just raked them out. 
But that, that's the thing with a repointing job. You never know really how far to go. Ideally, you want to go all the way up, but we've only been told to do this little section here. So off my own accord, I've decided to rake out the headers and the perp joints on these just to feather everything nicely. Now on camera, the color of this mortar looks a bit different to this over here, but I've just been using my blower to get rid of all the dust. And if I dry that really quick, you can see the color difference from the old mortar to the new mortar is a pretty, pretty decent match. So I'm really happy with that. So we're not gonna do loads and loads of repointing, just the selected areas. I've already thrown in a helix bar. Well, I couldn't be bothered to get that on camera. You guys have already seen that. We're just gonna carry on pointing this. What I'm using is my Hawk, some pretty stiff sand and cement, and my pointing tool. Now, to get it in, I'm just wetting down the area after I've dusted it out wetting down the area just so my new mortar sticks to it quite nicely and it's just a case of feeding that back into the original bed joint nice full joints and you know when your bed's full because your perp joint starts filling up and then that's all we're doing so a bit more repointed got the helix bar to throw in yes yes There we go, we're pretty much wrapped up for the day. I've had my mate Gaz do all the silicon around the door because you do not want to trust me with the silicon gun. But yeah, repointed, Felix Bar gone in. Nice, steady, easy day today. So we'll catch you when we catch you.